Peace family. Welcome back to Credit Healing. So today, what we're gonna be talking about is how you can possibly get your student loans partially or 100% discharged. Now, what is this? This is studentaid.gov. And what they are offering federally is that they are allowing people to fill out an application to basically see if they are eligible to get their student loans discharged, 100% or partially. Now, this defense is called borrower defense loan discharge. I'm going to read this right here so you have a brief understanding of what it entails. So it says here, if your school misled you or engaged in other misconduct in violation of certain state laws, you may be eligible for borrower defense to loan repayment, sometimes shortened to bar defense. This is the discharge of some of all or all of your federal loan debt. So this is how you do it step by step. So when you go down, well, first you have to go to studentaid.gov forward slash borrower hyphen defense. And so what you do is you will, once you get there, you will go to apply for borrower defense and then you will click on apply. And so once you get there, then you can either download the PDF and you can submit it to them via mail right there. Or what you can do is you can create an account. I will suggest that you create an account. That's what you have it um, with them. But if not, and if you don't want to, you can just download this PDF. Now in it, it is quite lengthy. So it's gonna take you approximately 30 minutes um, to read over everything they have instructions here and also to be able to fill out your personal information and so when you scroll down they're gonna ask, ask you for documentation um, and any information pertaining to your student loan before they will basically let you know if you're eligible or not so they're gonna ask you a lot of you know very personal questions in terms of what you went through uh, this is you know some basic information you know how did you apply etc but when you scroll down they're gonna ask um, about you know what you went through with the organization whether your school misrepresented information about itself or enrollment or enrolled students to a ranking organization because a lot of these uh, student loan agencies they lie about the enrollment, about what they will be able to do after they finish the university. Some of the universities have shut down in the middle of the semester or even afterwards. And therefore, uh, the students, their certificate has been basically null and void and they can't even use it. So they went to debt to basically try to obtain knowledge and skills but then they weren't even able to use it because the university or college basically fell short. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna fill this information out. They're gonna ask you about the urgency to enroll and all this good stuff. And so when you fill out everything, you're gonna save it. Make sure to read over the Privacy Act notice, Paper Reduction Act notice, read over everything because you always, you always want to make sure that you go over everything so that you are aware of exactly what you are submitting. So after you do it, then when you create an account, you can submit it there. And so you have to wait approximately 30 days, give or take, to hear back from them. It may take a little longer, um, depending on how many applications were submitted. But when that happens, um, you'll know whether or not you've been approved. And that's how you do it. All right, family, so if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at credithealing at gmail.com. If you're ready to get started, go to www.credithealing.org. Peace.